Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese, and this is my preview update of The Walking Dead 10-inch deluxe figure of Michonne. This will be the third 10-inch figure after Rick and Daryl, not counting their bloody versions. They revealed this at the Toy Fair 2015 in New York City. At first I seen this picture here, and I was like, I don't know if I like that. I mean, I, I like the costume they picked. That's, that's a nice one. I like that outfit. But... I don't know if I like the uh, pose. It almost, almost looks like she's going to swing a baseball bat or something. Like, I don't know. But Then when I seen some of the other pictures of the actual prototype, it's not painted or anything, but the actual prototype pictures made me like it a lot more. I still might have picked a different pose, but it's still, it's still really nice when you get to see these other pictures of it. The sculpt and detail are just amazing. Uh, I really like the face, the expression, and the, uh, I really like, also really like the definition in her arms. It just really looks like she's going to swing that thing hard. And just to angle, I'm just wondering if that's when she's like maybe chopping a zombie in half like she did in season three. She like chopped him right in half through the torso. It seems like the way she's posing there, and it must be what she's going to do. Maybe a decapitation. But usually when she does decapitation, she don't swing that hard. That looks like she's really swinging it, or about to swing it. And uh, I really like the wrinkles in the clothes. That's really awesome, but... And you come to expect that after seeing Rick and Daryl. The only other little thing that bugs me, it doesn't bug me too much, and it probably won't be as noticeable when it's painted, is the belly button. Because I know in the show I've noticed when she wore that shirt, you can sometimes like see the shape of her belly button through the shirt. Like it just kind of formed in there a little bit. But uh, right here in this picture, it just stands out so much, I think, because it looks like it's shaded a little bit in there. That's why it just looks odd to me. But I doubt that'll be a problem on the finished figure. But uh, I'm really liking this. I like the hair. Like I said, I would have preferred like maybe a different pose. Like I don't know. It's still a really cool pose. Some of the views look really awesome. And I'm really happy they're actually making a Michonne tennis figure because that's the one I really wanted after I first seen the Daryl one. I'm like, oh, can't wait for a Michonne. And Rick was really cool too. He's like one of my top favorites. But Michonne, you know, if you watch my videos, you know he's like probably my favorite character on the show. And just like Daryl and Rick, she's got all those details in her clothes. I can see like the lining in her pants. You can even see where it's like sewn, basically. And uh, you can see all the little studs on her boots. I like that. Her katana sheath will probably look a lot better this time around than it did it on the uh, little 5-inch figures. Because it was just so small, it's hard to see the detail in it. But probably on this version, you're really going to get to see it. And I can't wait for that. So I'm probably going to have some more videos coming up soon, at least one more, showing off the uh, Series 8 pictures, because they showed some couple scans on there. I don't know, a few other things. There's like the box set with Morgan and a uh, zombie, and, and there's supposed to be some more announcements, which I haven't heard yet. So most likely I'll be doing a couple more videos. Well, thanks for watching, and it's me, geez, thanks for watching, and wait, I just said that. Um, but thanks for watching, and goodbye. Oh, damn it, man. You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe, Nate. Oh, 